Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's see the Gibbs free energy for the Nast equation. We have seen that delta G is nothing but minus Nf E and E is nothing but E of cell at any given concentration. This can be found by Nast equation. Okay, this is the last now if you can find this E cell you can easily find gives free energy also correct so the standard electric potential for Daniel cell is given we have to calculate the Gibbs energy for this reaction you know that delta G is nothing but NF E0. Please note, this is E0 is given and you need to find standard Gibbs free energy that is given find delta G0. Let's put the values here. N is equal to 2. F is we know 96487 coulomb per mole and E0 is 1.1 volt. So 1.1 volt I can write as 1.1 joule per coulomb, right? 1.1 into joule per coulomb. Coulomb Coulomb gets cancelled, you solve this, you get is a minus here, minus NFE, minus 2, 1, triple 2 joule per mole, or you can say minus 21 point triple 2 kilo joule per and that is my Gibbs free energy. Correct. The next question is why voltage of battery we use doesn't drop after use? So that's a good question actually. The, the battery generally we use the pencil battery, right? Or lithium ion battery. So in that case, it is not in the liquid form. The electrolytes are not in the liquid form. They are formed in the sol in the solid form, actually, almost solid form. It drops, but it drops very less because it's almost in the solid form. And we have seen that when we talk about Q, solid concentration we always almost take as one. And that's why the ln here is almost 1. Why? Because we are dealing with solids here. Right? It's almost 1. And thus the voltage doesn't drop here. Because we know that E is equal to E0 minus E0 minus 2.303 RT by N log of Q. Right? And this is almost 1. Because we are generally dealing with the solid, solids, uh, solutes. Right? So this is 0. So the voltage doesn't drop over a period of time with the normal uh, battery we use in our life. The next question is write the Nernst equation and the EMF of the following cell at this temperature. See to write the Nernst equation the first thing is to, we have to write the balanced equation. So let's write the balanced equation for this. Mg becomes Mg2 plus two electrons are exchanged copper 2 plus becomes copper solid correct so for this equation I can write as E cell is nothing but E naught cell minus since it is happening at point uh, 298 Kelvin you can use this uh, shortcut uh, equation 0 0.059 by n log of k Correct. That is what we can write. And log of k is nothing but if you see uh, the concentration of uh, I mean here for this equation I write k. K is nothing but sorry log of q. Q is nothing but concentration of uh, Mg2 plus concentration of copper solid that is almost one divide by concentration of C2 plus concentration of Mg solid. This is one, this is one. So that is my Q. And E0 cell we can actually find, right? E0 cell for this reaction is nothing but E right minus E left that is uh, E0 for copper 2 plus to copper minus E0 of Mg2 plus to Mg. Let, let's find this guy. 
e naught cell is e right minus e left e right is nothing but copper 2 plus 2 copper minus e left is e mg 2 plus 2 mg please note this mg 2 plus 2 mg both i am writing reduction so from the table i can say that copper 2 plus 2 copper is 0.34 and the reduction potential of mg 2 plus 2 mg is minus 2.37 volt total is 2.71 volt so i know the value of e naught cell correct so let me put the values now here so e cell will be nothing but e naught cell that is 2.71 volt minus 0 0.0591 by n is 2 electrons log of concentration of mg plus that is nothing but this guy 0 0.001 by concentration of copper plus that is 0 0.0001 so this becomes log of 10 log of 10 is 1 so you saw this becomes 2.7 b is also in b right minus 0 0.0591 by 2 into log of 1 is 1 log of 10 is 1 so you solve this this becomes 2.71 b minus 0 0.03 b you solve this it becomes 2.68 a b so that is my EMF for this equation, the first equation. Let's do the same thing for the second equation. Right? So as we have done, first you write the balanced equation. Fe becomes Fe2 plus 2 electrons and then H plus is reduced to hydrogen gas. So there are 2 H plus required. This is my balanced equation. Correct. I know that E cell is nothing but E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by N log of Q. Correct. So let's see the Q value here. Q is nothing but concentration of Fe2 plus by concentration of S2 is almost 1 divided by concentration of Fe is almost 1 because it's solid by concentration of H plus the power 2 because there are 2 h plus here right please note there are 2 h plus so i'm saying concentration h plus to the power 2 e naught cell we can find easily using the chart we have there is nothing but e of right minus e of left what is in the right right we have this guy that is e of reduction potential of h plus 2 h minus reduction potential of a p 2 plus 2 This is zero. This is we know is minus 0 0.44 volt. That is nothing but plus 0 0.44 volt. So I know E naught. So let's put everything in this equation. E cell will become E naught is 0 0.44 volt minus 0 0.0591 by n is two here, two electrons. Log of Q. Q is nothing but concentration of every two plus. That is nothing but 0 0.001 m by concentration of h plus that is 1m and it's square right this is should you not put m and not here 0 0.001 point 0.1 and this is more than enough so you solve this you'll get 0 0.44 volt plus actually because this is 0 0.001 right this becomes minus 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 plus plus 0 0.089 and that is nothing but 0.53 volt and that is my answer and because this becomes log of 10 to the power minus 3 so this whole thing becomes minus 3 so minus 3 into minus becomes plus when you multiply this 0 0.059 by 2 thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.